Hey everyone, it's Frank from L4PQ here, and today I wanted to talk about farming on alternate classes. I know there were a lot of comments on our other videos regarding this, so I wanted to make a small guide about it. So what we are going to talk about are the benefits of main quest leveling versus prioritizing farming over just doing the main quest, the differences between farming on alts versus farming on your main, and also showing some examples of my AFK farming on both main and my alts. So let's get down to business. Why do we prioritize on farming rather than just main quest leveling your alts? Well, let's look at the benefits of just doing your main quest leveling, shall we? So first benefit is getting your class grade quick. As you all know, every 20 levels we get inventory space, which is pretty helpful for managing stuff. And also something you should think about in your first two weeks, since you'll be hoarding a lot of materials. The other rewards aren't bad either, but you will need a lot of leveling and grinding on both your main and your alts to get those rewards which will take time. Another benefit is getting your main quest rewards faster. I'll show you some examples here, but yeah, the extra materials from these rewards will help you progress a bit. The last benefit I can think of is if you're going to switch to another class as your main or you're trying to reach a specific level, for example, maybe to getting to level 26 to farm these mobs that drop gold materials. For switching mains, I still recommend you just prioritize farming a bit and then maybe think about leveling with main quests when you reach to a certain point where farming is slowing down and isn't efficient anymore. Now let's think about just farming with your alts. What I mean by that is just doing the main quest until maybe level 3 or up to a point where you unlock some skills for faster farming. So what do you do at low level then? Well, just go and farm in normal fields. Why is this better? Well, for one, you're getting some materials found in normal fields and gold while getting EXP from the EXP boost from your highest leveled class rather than just getting EXP from story quests with some rewards you can always get later on. Also, a lot of materials you can get from high level mobs, you can still get from low level mobs as well. The only difference is that you can get higher tiered materials, but is higher tiered materials from normal fields better than farming faster for lower tiered materials? I have tested this and I believe that you get more materials and gold farming faster at low levels. This is a strat that Koreans also used early game as well. And I will also show some of my examples of my AFK farming later near the end of the video. Secondly, instead of wasting time just to farm some soul stones on your main, you can be farming materials or prizes and gold while you farm for soul stones. That's because when your level is too high for the current monster in normal fields, you will be basically getting none or reduced prizes and like one gold per monster. Make sure you get those early level soul stones out of the way before your alts become too high to farm them efficiently. The last reason why is that you farm more efficiently on your alts than your main class in normal fields. The main reason is because the lower level you are and higher CP you have equals killing mobs way faster. Sometimes even in one hit if your CP is high enough. Why is our CP so high? Well, it's because of all the ways you can get CP in this game, and a lot of it is shared. I mean, for the people who already play the game, you can already see the many different ways you can obtain more CP, which is why other guides tell you to focus on your main first to gain more overall CP, and the other reason being is for the CP boost. In my opinion though, you shouldn't be thinking about alt farming until you reach a certain point on your main, for example around level 40 plus, or until you're stuck and run out of materials to upgrade yourself. Now does that mean farming on your main class is bad? Well, no, because on your main, you still want to use your energy drinks while farming, since leveling is going to be pretty slow and it'll increase the drop rates on drops that you can't get on lower leveled mobs. Also, terra farming is still pretty good on mains because of how chaos fields work. 
It's just more efficient and faster farming for core materials like gold, armor, weapon crystals, and other stuff you can get from normal field mobs, rather than just farming on your main, especially when you don't have any more energy drinks. Also, the higher level you are, the more tankier the mobs will be. Many of you that are probably around level 50 or 60 plus will already start to feel this, which is why I'm taking my time doing main quests and slowly leveling from the EXP I get from farming kingdom stuff, dailies, and weeklies. There's still mobs at lower levels that I want to farm while still dropping a decent amount of materials. Like I said before, the higher level you are compared to the mobs you're fighting, the less drops you will get. Basically, what I recommend is try to balance leveling and farming on your main when mobs around your level get a lot tougher. Well, what if you already have leveled alts that are around level 20 to 30s? Well, you can still farm pretty fast. It's not going to be as fast as like pre-20s, but some materials like the gold material I briefly mentioned does unlock after level 20. So honestly, it'll only slow down around level 40 I would say, which then it really depends on how far your main class is in the game. If there is a huge gap in levels between your main and alt, naturally your overall CP will be higher. So make sure you take your time prioritizing farming on alts while your main slowly levels higher. Before we take a look at some of my AFK farming footage, I wanted to show you how much these gold coins and statues sell for, in case you didn't know. I will be adding them up later for a grand total to show you the differences in gold on my main and alt. As you can see, the silver coins sell for 100, gold coins are 1000, statues for 10k, and platinums are for 2k gold. So on the left side we have my main and the right side we have my alt. For these farming, I'm doing one hour farming on, on the gold materials and they should be around the same level here. And these are the results. As you can see, the right side, which is my alt, gained more gold in that one hour of farming. And you can see in another example, um, the left side, I'm actually five levels above that mob. And then this side, I'm actually like a several levels bef below the gold mob and I'm still getting more gold. So this one I wanted to showcase just a bit of like, like if you're gonna go specialty farming or soul, soul stone farming um, on the right side, you still, I can, you can see that I'm still getting a bit more in terms of like, like materials. And on, for this one is just, uh, chaos fields. I wanted to show you a bit of like my chaos field farm. Uh, this is like about an hour in um, solo farming on both and they should be around the same levels. As you can see my thing, uh, uh, my uh, my main also got more territe than my my alt. But it's kind of RNG for those. Um, f for this one, it this one was several hours of farm with a party and I managed to get 18 and like a pretty decent amount. This is no, um, energy drinks, by the way, this is also no energy drinks about several hours of farming. I only got four terite with a party. So, I mean, the consistency I would say for, for ults is better in terms of territe but i think if you have a really like a really good decent clear and you or you have like a really good party that can all clear at a decent rate then you can potentially get more than whatever alts you have farming with for territe so that pretty much wraps up the whole video I'll um, list some main points here in case people just didn't have time to watch the video and they just skip to the conclusion. I'm totally fine with that. It's just that if you know, if you, you can watch the video for more information if you wanted to. 
If not, then here are all the main points um, I conclude in this whole video about prioritizing like farming and leveling and stuff. And that's about it. Thank you for uh, uh, 1,000 subs, by the way. It's been uh, pretty surreal. Uh, we've been making videos for a while, but this is like the first time that our channel kind of blew up. So thank you very much and have a nice day.